Hi dancers, welcome to SKR Yoga and Wellness. My name is Sam and today we are doing a yin yoga class for tight hips. So of course this is really gonna focus a lot on the lower body. We're gonna focus on hamstrings, some hips, and a little bit of low back in today's class. You may want two blocks for this practice, but to be totally honest, they're not absolutely necessary, so no stress if you don't have them. We're gonna get started in a reclined butterfly position. So just coming all the way down onto your back. Get comfortable and then let your knees open wide. Soles of your feet can come together. And for this pose, let's bring our hands onto our belly. So for this first pose, we can really focus on the breath and on the rise and fall of your stomach as you breathe in this really deep, deep place. Allow your shoulders to melt into the floor. Try not to grip through the hips at all. Just let your knees give into gravity, opening wide. Your spine is following its natural curve along the floor. And just continuing to breathe. Gently, you can use your hands if you need to help guide your knees back to center, placing the soles of your feet back on the floor. 
We're going to come into reclined swan pose, which means you're going to flex your right foot, take it over top of your left thigh, and then just lift that leg, either grabbing behind your left thigh or in front of your left shin, and then just very gently guiding that leg in closer towards you. So in this pose, we do need a very small amount of muscle engagement just through the arms to guide our leg in closer. And you also want to maintain a flex through your right foot. So we're not going to totally relax the slit. We're going to keep energy going out through that heel just so we can protect the right knee. And we'll only be here for about a minute or so. So again, get comfy. Make sure even though our arms are engaged that your neck remains relaxed on the floor and there's no tension through the neck or the head. So only using the muscles that are necessary to hold us up here. Try to relax everything else. And bring that deep breathing back into your belly. Gently let your left foot fall back to the floor. And we're gonna maintain this figure four shape with your legs. Just allow the legs to fall over towards the left. So the sole of your right foot is gonna come in contact with the floor. Let's bring our arms to a cactus shape. So we're making two 90 degree angles beside us. And then head can just relax forward. So we're stretching a little bit into the IT band here. So aiming to feel stretched towards the outside of your right hip. Breathing deep for about another minute or so. And gently power up the core ever so slightly to lift those legs back up to center. We're going to go right away to the other side. So crossing your left ankle over your right thigh. And then grab a hold of whatever you can here. And again, just using the muscles that are absolutely necessary to lightly guide that leg in towards you. Maintaining your flex 
through the left foot and relaxing everything else into the floor, opening up through that left hip, breathing deep. Very gently place your right foot back onto the mat. Then we're going to let the knees fall over towards the right, bringing your arms back to that cactus shape. Stretching into the side of your left leg. Make sure both shoulders stay on the floor here. So the twist is really coming from your navel. Breathing into the twist. Here for another minute. Gently lift your legs back up to center. We're going to slowly, at your own time, come on up into a seated position. And then we're going to open up to face the long edge of your mat. And coming into a straddle, so opening up those legs. And again here, we're not using any muscular engagement, so we don't need to pull up through the legs or stretch through the feet or anything like that. Just totally relaxed. Now this is where I like to use a block. Um, this is not necessary, however. We're just gonna fold forward and hold here for a few minutes. You can use a pillow or a blanket or something underneath you as well. I've got my block here with me today, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Just propping it up on its highest level, and then this will just be a great place for me to rest my forehead. So just relaxing into this forward fold. Really let your head and your upper body be heavy and it's important especially in this pose not to go too far so you don't want to go to your maximum 
stretch right away because we are going to be here for a few minutes you want to allow gravity to pull you farther into the stretch so we're passively going farther and farther and deeper and deeper and not pulling our or forcing ourselves down this is a totally relaxed totally passive stretch it's not about going as deep as you possibly can We'll be here for a few minutes, so make sure you get comfortable. Try to resist the urge, urge to fidget. Being still and breathing. Very gently, using your arms to help push yourself up. No rush at all. Be very mindful coming back to your seated position. You can move the block off to the side. 
And you're just gonna bring your feet all the way together and then flipping onto your belly. Relaxing down, you're gonna bend into the right leg. Grab a hold with that right arm and you can also grab with the left and we're just gently guiding that foot closer to your glute to find a nice quad stretch through the front of your right leg. Now I like to do this turning one ear towards the floor. So right now I have my right ear on the mat so I can relax my head and neck. Again, we're only engaging the arms slightly to help guide the foot in to feel the stretch, but we shouldn't have any tension through the neck or through the shoulders. Everything else is relaxing into the floor. And as always, remembering to breathe deeply, feel your belly expand and contract against the floor. Very gently with control, let that foot softly float back down onto the mat. And we're going to repeat that on the other side. This time, turn the opposite ear onto the mat, just so we're evening up the neck as well. And you might notice that one leg feels very different than the other, right off the bat. On one side, your foot might be closer to your glute, and that's totally fine. Just take note, continue to breathe through it. Continue to guide that foot closer towards your glute. Two minutes here. We're going to make our way into a tabletop pose onto hands and knees. So pushing yourself up. 
Now for this next pose, you may want to pad up your left knee. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold the left side of my mat in, just to give my knee a little bit of extra cushion and support. And then from here, you're gonna take your right foot, step it in between the palms, so we're coming to a low lunge. And now this is another pose where I like to use my blocks. You don't have to, you can keep your fingertips on the floor here. But just to make it a little bit easier for me to hold for a long period of time, I'm gonna come up onto these blocks here. And again, totally up to you how you would like to support yourself in this pose. Just make sure that your knee is right on top of your ankle. Make sure that back knee is comfortable. And we'll be here for about a minute and a half. So not too, too long. But continuing to breathe deeply. Try not to put any tension or pressure into the shoulders. Send your breath to the front of that hip. Allow it to lengthen and expand. From here, I'm just going to move my blocks to the side and take both of your palms to the inside of that right foot. You might need to just toe heel that right foot more towards the outside of your mat. And then from here, we're going to lift through that, those right toes and open them up so you're rotating onto the outside of your foot. So the entire sole of your foot is no longer on the floor. We're allowing that foot and that hip to rotate. And we'll be here for about another minute or so. And again, you can stay up on your blocks, you can stay up on your palms, you can come down onto your elbows. Totally up to you how intense you would like to take this posture. I'm gonna stay up on my palms here just for today. So I'm experiencing a lot of tightness through my hips, but please feel free to adjust as you need. Continuing to breathe here.
really gently. We've been in this lunge for a long time, so use your hands. If you were on your elbows, come back up onto your palms. Very gently shift your weight back. Unfold your mat if that's what you had done. Coming back to your tabletop pose. And it may feel good just to move the hips around slightly, maybe making some hip circles. Just introducing a little bit of movement, especially in through that right hip. And we'll go ahead and get ready for the other side. So patting your knee on the right. Bringing both hands right under your shoulders. Step your left foot through this time. And then again, take a moment to use any props that you might need for yourself. Getting settled into the posture. Make sure again that that front knee is right over your ankle. Breathing into it. Again, we'll be here for about another minute and a half. Now transitioning into our next position, so moving the blocks, bringing your arms to the inside of your left leg. Allow that, those toes to lift and open up, so we're coming to the outside edge of your left foot. And again, you can stay on your block, staying on your palms, or coming all the way down onto your elbows. We're here in our winged dragon for again another minute and a half. Very gently, come back up onto your palms if you were all the way down. Walk yourself back, nice and slow. Release the fold of your mat. And again, let's just come into some hip circles, coming forward and back. Bringing some movement back to those hips. And we're going to come to a seated position. 
you're going to bring your right shin in front of you so it's parallel to the short edge of your mat. And then your left leg is gonna open up so that this shin is parallel to the long edge of your mat. So you're kind of in a lazy fourth position here, you could say. What we're really focusing on in this pose is the internal rotation of your, in this case, your left hip. So from here, you can just very gently start to shift your weight back into your hands. Try to keep your shoulders plugging away from your ears here. And then we're just going to sit in this posture. You might not feel very much of a stretch uh, while we sit here, but again, we're just focusing on finding that internal rotation of the hips. So just countering all of that external rotation we just had in our lunges. So breathing here for a couple of minutes, getting comfortable. coming on out of it on this side and right away transitioning into deer pose on the other side so bringing your left shin forward right shin parallel to the long edge of your mat and again sending your weight back ever so slightly sitting into your hands shoulders away from your ears and breathe
slowly and mindfully start to make your way out of this pose. Coming onto your back. Let's start by hugging your knees into your chest, maybe rocking side to side. Massaging your lower back into the floor. And then we'll flex through the feet, coming into a happy baby. So elbows on the inside of your legs, arms come to the outside of your feet. And then we just very gently guide those legs down towards our armpits. Try to keep your tailbone and lower back on the floor as much as you can. And try not to fidget or sway in this position. So we're gonna be still in this happy baby. Continuing to breathe deeply. Very gently release the hold of your feet. Allow your feet to come back down onto the mat. And we'll stretch the legs out, making your way into Shavasana, our final resting pose. Let your legs be wide, arms wide, taking up space. allow the rest of your body to melt into the floor, giving into gravity. Let's take a moment to notice how your hips feel now that we've completed our class. Feel your lower back nice and wide against your mat. Feel those hips nice and open. And we'll continue to breathe here to finish off.
slowly start to come back to your body, wiggling fingers and toes, rolling through your ankles and wrists, let your head fall from side to side. In your own time, rolling onto the right side of your body. Take a moment to settle here. And then pushing yourself up into a seated position. And all together, let's bring our hands together in front of our hearts and bending forward. Namaste. Thank you so much dancers for doing this hip opening practice with me. I hope you found some release through the hips. Please do give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to SKR Yoga and Wellness. I release new videos every single Friday. And that's all for today. Thank you once again and I hope to see you on the mat again soon.